So it took me and Byron a, an entire year to fully build our Bronco. It's sitting right over here. Well, Desolate sent about 100 of these, and here at King of the Hammers, in our booth, in about five or six hours, they're gonna completely build one. This ought to be good, you don't wanna miss this. You know, they'll do it. They busted the power steering line, so they have to uh, send it back. So, are we gonna give them like a little bit of help? Give them 30 minutes, I guess. 30, they'll yeah. drink a beer by 3 30. Yeah. BFT is delivering tires oh. and wheels, so I think it happened. Bronco's gonna be nice with your Bronco. I know it took us a year to build ours, they're doing it in a day. Making you look bad. Yeah. They've also assured me that they will be done and drinking beer by 3 o'clock. So we're going to drink beer and heckle them the whole time. It's 10.30. See how long it takes them. Byron, will they be done and drinking beer by three o'clock? What's your What's your guesstimate on time right now? I don't think three o'clock. You don't I think, think three o'clock? Uh, it's 10, 10 43 right now. Yeah, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. I'm gonna say five. Five? Yeah. Just in time before dark. Well, we can drink beer and watch them though. Yeah, I'm about to start. Pull it forward a little bit. Hold on, let me get here. Come Hold back on, up here. We gotta here. cut that clip on that boot. Okay. Like 20 minutes they have the All right, 30 minutes in, what do you think? Did you underestimate them? <laughs> well, it is like six of them, and they've built like a hundred. So, I mean, with the with the parts on the table, it would be easy to underestimate them. But I, I, I think they're gonna do it. I think they're actually gonna beat five o'clock. I really do. in and they pretty much have this thing almost prepped and ready to start installing new parts back in it. These guys look like a NASCAR pit crew fueled by beer and the promise of carne asada uh, tacos when we're done. So we got everything stripped off, frame rails are clean, we're putting the shock tower up in there right now. We'll put the crossover between the two shock towers in and then uh, burn in the, the welds. 
So we can finish painting everything. Once that's done, we're basically just bolt pretty stuff on. We're, we're looking good right now. This is, yeah, they'll go back in. Perfect. Oh, they so, will. Uh, try to get the paint on, give it an hour or so to dry, drink some beers, and then we get to go. Heck yeah. Seven. I got a little what? less than an hour left. Suspension is underneath it. Suspension is underneath it up front. It might make it. It's going to be very close. What's going on with the steering box, Greg? Uh, apparently when we unbolted it from the frame and it dropped down a little bit. It must have torqued on the adapter fitting that goes to the dash six line that's in there. So... Hey, does anybody have an idea where the PSC tank is? Yeah. Down there to the left? So we're going to have to either do some sort of hard line set up or we're going to have to make something weird. It's an inverted flare, so uh, it's kind of a weird little adapter fitting that's not going to be very readily available. Definitely not something you were ready to tackle, right? Yeah, you said it was a yeah, definitely. Thing, right? We'll figure it out. Though. It's not that big of a deal. So they showed up, bragged about doing this in five hours, but didn't bring enough gas for the generators. They ran out of gas, but that's okay. We got fuel. <laughs> Dicks with gas? Thank you. <laughs> He literally had like one weld left and ran out of fuel. Okay, so we, when we were taking the steering box out, it kind of fell down and it snapped the spitting off. Uh, luckily, we walked around, went over to How Performance. Jeff over there hooked us up. Got another one. It's a really not a common fitting half inch inverted flare to dash six. Yeah, he would be the only guy. Crisis averted. Do this. Look at tires and wheels on it, you know. Eight minutes. You think they'll do it? They busted the power steering line, so they have to uh, back. So are we gonna give them like a little bit of help? I could give them 30 minutes, I guess. 30. They'll yeah. drink a beer by 3:30. Yeah. BFG's delivering tires oh. and wheels, so I think it happened. Bronco's gonna be nicer than your Bronco. I know it took us a year to build ours, and they're doing it in a day. Making you look bad. Yeah, they I have do built like this jack stand. Though. Yes, they have built like a hundred of, of them. I want one of those. Yeah, that is brilliant. You can't beat that service. Delivery. Delivery. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, 
Three o'clock. Barely missed it. But they got tires and wheels. It's BFG KM3s. On some bead locks. Ready to rock and roll. We finished up very shortly, well before dark. So Greg and the guys at Desolate, they have these Cab Unlimited hub centric sleeves. And we kind of we kind of conned him into letting us have them instead of putting them on their Bronco. He, he said that, I, I thought you were running them. Uh, if I'd have known, I'd have brought you some. So I conned him into let me have them. So we're going to install these real quick. They're pretty sweet. They actually just slide on the Ford factory hub. <clears throat> We've got these three set screws. Just make sure you got them clocked right. Set them. Start your wheel back on. The cool thing about the hub centric sleeves is, although we upgraded to the 5H studs, the hub centric sleeves allow your rim or wheel to mount on the hub, basically, and all your weights transferred to the hub instead of on the lug studs. Just take some of that force off the uh, lug studs and since you take a lot of hard hits in the front, it's a little more protective on the, the hub itself. Done. Wheel back on. o'clock they literally just did this in six and a half hours pretty amazing right there little toe adjustment clamp down some uh full over reservoirs and she's ready to rip for tomorrow like shorter though yeah so would you do it again oh yeah it wasn't that bad actually yeah yeah no, it was a good day. Everybody freaking worked hard. Everybody was shit, killing it the whole time. So we we did great. I'm super stoked. We had a couple little couple little issues. We came out, overcame both of them. Um, had a little issue with the, the reservoir hose configuration, which we worked out. We broke the power steering line. We fixed that. Everything else, the truck looks great, man. I couldn't be happier. These guys killed it today. So. I think we came out here and did what we intended to do. The sun's not down yet. We didn't start till 10.30. I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. Beers will taste real good tonight, that's for sure. Ready to thrash on tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys.